for phases of life's transitions. At 60, the workplace undergoes a transformation, and your role changes. No matter how successful or influential you were in your career, you'll find yourself transitioning into a new phase of life. Embrace this shift by letting go of your past job's identity and any lingering sense of superiority. Holding on to your ego may hinder your sense of ease and fulfillment. At 70, society goes through its own shifts, and your social circle may evolve. The friends and colleagues you used to interact with become fewer in number, and you may not be as recognized at your former workplace. Avoid dwelling on past accomplishments, saying, I used to be. Or, I was once. As the younger generation may not be familiar with your history. Instead, adapt gracefully and find comfort in this changing landscape. At 80, family dynamics change as well. Even if you have many children and grandchildren, you'll likely spend most of your time with your spouse or on your own. When your children visit sporadically, view it as a loving gesture, understanding that they have their own busy lives. Resist the urge to blame them for visiting less frequently, and appreciate the moments you share. At 90, life itself enters a different phase, and you may experience the loss of acquaintances and loved ones. Rather than succumbing to sadness, understand that this is the natural course of life, and everyone eventually embarks on this journey. Cherish the memories of those who have departed and live in the present. Therefore, while our bodies still allow us, let's make the most of life's opportunities. Remember that one thing that won't fade away is the Viber and Messenger group. So, stay connected, express your greetings, maintain your presence, find happiness in these connections, and live with no regrets. Cheers.